Welcome to another podcast of the current situation, Manchester United. Manchester United lost 2-1 to Brighton away from home. I don't even know why I'm giggling, bro. I don't even know why I'm giggling. In the, in the Premier League. Um, I didn't watch I didn't watch the first half. Matter of fact, I didn't even know we were playing today. I didn't even know we were playing today. Because um, if I knew, I would have done a preview yesterday, but I didn't do a preview. So this is my match reaction for the preview that I didn't do the game. So we lost 2-1 to Brighton and um, I'm disappointed by the result. Funnily enough, I didn't watch the, the, the majority of the first half, but caught a glimpse of the, the first half highlights. And no surprise, we were 1-0 down. You look at the nature of how we conceded that goal and this is what I've been beating down in pre-season, man. It's the same goal. It's the same goal that Jesus scored against us in pre-season. We cannot allow low crosses to be crossed into the face of the box into the striker that's the same type of goal that jesus scored against us in pre-season man and we lost the game we can't we have to have some organization in the back foot bro if you go play a proper zonal mark then zonal mark properly eh? don't make don't don't allow the striker to be in open space because that is why wingers are putting low crosses in the box man it's because there's a good chance that's going to find the strike. And it's just a tap in and boom. You're, you're down 1-0. And we're down 1-0. Because Danny, let me say something about Danny Welbeck. I believe Danny, a lot of persons have been snoozing and sleeping on Danny Welbeck. Danny Welbeck has been playing in the Premier League since 2008. And he's still in the Premier League in 2024. Given his injury woes, yeah, but he's still scoring goals in the Premier League. He's a Premier League goal scorer. He's a proper Premier League goal scorer. So I have to say that as a sidebar because Danny Welbeck, man, his longevity in the Premier League is overlooked. This guy started very young for Manchester United and he's been a, a solid striker for Manchester United, definitely for Arsenal and uh, I think he went to uh, Watford, I don't remember. I know he's at Brighton and he's playing good. But anyway, I don't want to spend my time talking about Danny Welbeck because he doesn't play for Manchester United no more. But the, the nature of the goal that we can see, we can't allow that, man. We have to put a defender on our striker. That shouldn't have never scored. These are the small mistakes that we can't allow to make in this season. Because that will make and break our season whether we finish top 4 or top 6. We want to finish top 4, not in top 6. So we were 1-0 down. Um, Like I said, I didn't see the majority of the first half. So I can't give a proper insight or assessment on the first half. But the second half. Oh! Mafak, hold on, hold on. Were we, did we equalize in the first half or second half? I can't remember. But let us go to the equalizer. What is one of my biggest critiques of Manchester United? One of my biggest critiques is that, yes, it's good that, you know, we can play, away, we can play at home and play good football because we have space. But Brighton didn't give us much space in the game. And, they were mo and the times they gave us space... We pounce on that. Why is it so dark? We pounce on that because that, that, that is what led to us equalizing. When they played a the high line, they were pushing us because Brighton, let us be honest, Brighton was, 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 was bursting our pipe a bit. They were pressing us. They were playing football against us. And when we won the ball on the break, our new right back, Mazuri, was running and he gave it to Ahmad Diallo with some Brighton players who were contesting that it was a, a, a offside. It wasn't an offside. And it wasn't an offside. And then Ahmad Diallo cut back on his left foot and shoot. It was deflected and it went in and it was 1-1. That was a very good goal. Um, yeah, so we were 1-0, one 1-1, one, 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 we're 1-1. One, one. I just woke up, so if I'm feeling drowsy, so see you brother. So we equalized. And uh, yeah, so in the second half, man, I'm so drowsy this morning. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even expect the game to be played this early. Um, which is why I missed the majority of the first half. But yeah, so yeah, Bright Brighton Bright Bright was weren't sleeping on us, bro. Bright Brighton was put was was trying to play football against us, which kind of irked me because Brighton should not be playing football against us away or home. They should not be playing football against us. What we were doing in the game was what Brighton should be doing. Is me playing catch up we were playing catch up to Brighton in that game no I'll say this we didn't play defensive football 
We didn't play defensive football. We actually played football. We actually played football, but we just couldn't unlock their defense. And it's uh, this, the, just the moment where Brighton gave us spaces, that's where we pounced on it. And that led to the second goal, which some persons thought it wasn't an offside. I might get to it right now. So, on the break, as well as the goal that we equalized, that, the way how we equalized. So, um, I forgot, I forgot. So, Ganacha came on for Rashford. I don't think Rashford had a very good game because I don't think he would have been taken off that early if he had a good game. But, but Ganacha came on. And... Uh, Long story short, whatever happened there, whatever happened there, Bruno Fernandes, or oh, I believe Amadiol knock it into Bruno Fernandes on right hand side, and Bruno Fernandes cross it across the face of the box into the path of Gonach and Gonach equalized at the far post. Oh, oh, oh. But the ball went off for the, the, the knee of Xerxes, so they claim, they claim it was an offside. I have to see that again. I don't think it was. I'd, it, it's a tight one. I'll say it's a tight one, but um, I don't think it's by big margins an offside goal. Is me? I, I, I don't think so. It could, I believe, it could be an offside, but you know, I'm no referee, so what am I to say? But that why is it so dark, man? Jesus. So yeah, they took away our goal. Um, but yeah, bro, we had chances to put to bed, and so did Brighton. Brighton had a lot of chances to score against us. Like, there was this chance. Danny Welbeck had another chance, bro, to get another goal. This Bridging hit the post. The, the crossbar with his header. Yeah, so we, we this, this is the thing we can't, we can't, we we have to work on, man. This Bridging almost got a second goal against us. In the game. So, yeah, we, we have to we have to do better with our defensive, bro. We, we, we can't sign we can't sign any forward we want, but the, the defense line needs, the organization of the defense line needs to be worked on. Is me. And, um, yeah, so let us zoom in. So, in the diamonds of the game, what is my other critique that I've said before the season started in my preview in the, in the Fulham game? I said that one of the things that killed us last season is conceding late goals. Didn't I say that in my preseason, in my uh, in my preview against Fulham, talking about how we're supposed to come at this season, the objective for this season, is that we cannot keep. Let me say this. I know that I'm all over the place. Bruno Fernandez should not have been. I was about to say sent off. Bruno Fernandez should not have been substituted off. He should have stayed on the pitch. We needed our captain. In those dying minutes, because if Bruno Fernandes was still on that pitch, I don't think would have equal. I don't even think they would have equalized. And although he may say, "Well, Bruno Fernandes is not a defender," so he goes say, "Bruno, Bruno you know, Bruno Fernandes is coming off." But it's the energy of a captain, though, telling who to who, who and who to mark up. We were like a ship without a sail, man. We had no leader in the last minutes. We had no leader in the last minutes, and that is what led to our detriment and that's how we lost the game we in the dying minutes of the game when it was seven minutes added on brighton was pressing the press like attacking us they made some changes at the at the bit uh, at, at, at the far end of the game and some of those substitutes were the reason why we 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 we, we, uh, we conceded because they played a part into into them scoring the goal you see me so the fact is they had corner after corner and they were putting balls into the box, taking shot at any angle, just trying to get a deflected goal, make sure they didn't score against us and win the game. And then this Bridgerin crossed the ball into the box, into Joa Pedro, I think his name is, the number nine for Brighton, and him go score. Do we cannot be conceding late goals, bro. This is not FIFA where you can where you can concede late goals, but where the AI is against us, pressing the life out of you, and then go get a, a goal. We can, that this this is we can't we can't we can't we can't allow that man. That's the same thing that killed us last season. I'm not going to even go over the games where we concede the late goals, man. We can't concede late goals in games, man. That is what killed us last season, man. Or is it that this bridging poor, pre, uh, Joe, Pedro, uh, Pe, Joe Pedro has space? Where is the light? Where is our defenders? This is the same organizational structure I'm talking about from a second. That the that the, they they pounce 
on our defense weakness because I don't even know how this bridging had that space, bro. I don't even know where he had that space. I'll say this. Everything on is not the, well. You could say everything is the reason why we we, we 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 lost the game somewhat because he took off Bruno Fernandes. I believe Bruno Fernandes should have stayed on, but that result is no way she performed. And you could tell, you know, he was steaming everything, and I would be steaming too. This Belgian was subtly shaking. He said, "Like what the hell, man? Why are you go concede at the at the last minute of a game?" You can't last you can't concede that last minute of a game, man. Definitely not to Brighton. <laughs> Isn't me? So I understand again I'm everything I go with, although I, I said that if he has a proper unique style of play that is very effective for us to get results and win games, then I may consider my I, uh, then I may reconsider my position whether I would want him to stay or not, despite him uh, signing a new contract. But my fuck, oh, I, did, I did do, I did do a, a, Man, a Manchester United video of Bruno Fernandes signing a new contract. But that result is no way shape on, on our form on Everything Hog. Stop it. For you person saying that Everything Hog is the reason why we lost, he's not the reason why we lost. We had chances to score and we couldn't score them. The only thing that the only flaw that everything I made in my opinion was that he took off Bruno Fernandes should not have been taken off. Yeah, man. So I was I was I was you could say empathizing with everything I I I I, I feel bad for everything up because no nah, man I they could just see that he was just boiling this bridge was just shaking it's, it's like he said it was some like, like a bob a bob later or something it was just she it was he, he was just frustrated because we conceded at the last minute of the game we can't concede late goals man and I'm still I'm gonna keep saying it if you can see late goals because that is what's killing us it shows that we have no experience to see our games and that is what I've said last season. We have to know how to see our games. Number one, we shouldn't even be in a position where we are even looking to even get a goal to win a game. We should be winning, not catching up. Yes, me. We can't be catching up to any game, man. We have to be proactive. Like I said, we didn't play. We didn't play negative in this football game. We played very good in this football game. Yes, me. But one of the things that that worries me, man. And I've said this before is that when we're not giving out of space, definitely we're playing away from home. That is where we're going to see who, who are the real footballers in our squad. Because let me tell you, you can, you, you can play very good football all day when you're giving space, when, you, when you're giving space. But when that space is congested, when that space is squeezed out, when that space is limited, this is what you have to use, not, not the pace of you, not the way you're running space. Is this you have to use? And this is where this is why we need proper midfielders in our squad. That can break the line of defense. Man City can do that very well. Is it me? So I mean Yeah, so that's something we have to work on, man. I know I don't I don't want this video to be long, but I have to say this, man, because there's just so much things that we did wrong in that game man and i didn't even watch the majority of the first half so probably there are more things that we didn't do in the first half that we shouldn't have that we, that we should have done and i didn't catch on to it because i watched the game late so leave your comments down in the comment section our first loss of this season our first l of this season so that means we have Oh, oh, our goal difference is on zero because we won one nil in our first game. I will score one another goal. I will go see two goals. So our goal difference is on zero. But yeah, bro, this this goes to show us that we cannot take games away from home slightly. When we are given our chances, go score them, go score them. And let me say this, man, we have to we have to and we have to practice some awareness. Although I believe Xerxes, um. Is it it he, he acted he acted in momentum you know what I mean like he couldn't control his knee in that position although you could say you should have scored from that position but when the shot was played by Ganacho to score it hit off his right knee and he was say he's offside 
So, yeah, bro, we have to watch out for these things because these things can cost us. Um, man of the match. I, man, I haven't, I haven't done a man of the match in my match reaction for a long time. Who was my man of the match? My goodness, it's been a long minute. Um, I don't even know who I say. I would, I, would, I don't even know, bro. I do, I do, I do, I, I don't watch. I, I haven't watched the game a long way to say who was man of the match, but. Yeah, I'm going to finish it right here because this video is getting long now. But like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below in the comment section so that you can be notified uh, on each upload. That will do better. I'm out.